It's Sunday morning, week 14 in the NFL season is about to take place. You're getting ready to watch week 14 football games and you're wondering who are the MVP candidates heading in to week 14. Who's leading the charge for the NFL MVP? I'm going to be honest with you, it's really a two-horse race at this point, but just to keep with the theme of the uh, uh, thing we've been doing the last couple weeks is we're going to go with the top five. So without further ado, uh, let's start it off with my number five candidate here. So we have Big Ben, number five. Me and Vegas agree here. Uh, so Vegas has Big Ben currently fifth uh, in terms of odds. Plus 5,000 at week 14, which is where we're at. We're heading into week 14. Uh, virtually no chance if you're going to bet Big Ben to win the MVP. Might as well just burn your money because those are long shot odds with the number of games left. But why is Big Ben my number five? Honestly, it's because, you know, some of the other guys I thought about, you know, he just has better stats then. Well, let's look at the stats here. So obviously, uh, the Steelers are 11 and 1. They lost their first game to the Washington football team and you know they had to deal with potentially playing on Thursday and then they got their game switched to Sunday then Monday Tuesday ended up playing on Wednesday and then they had to play last week against the football team on Tuesday it was a wild situation but they're 11 and 1 so Steelers uh, lost their first game but Big Ben still having a good year you know he's got 3100 passing yards uh, 27 touchdowns seven picks he's completing just under 67 percent of his passes which is fantastic uh, and he's got a pretty good rating of 97, just over 97, which I remember back in the day when 97 was pretty damn impressive. Now it's like, yeah, you're, you're pretty much a scrub if you aren't completing, uh, if your rating, your, your passer rating isn't over 100, like at this point with the rules the way they are. But Big Ben having a pretty good season. Uh, you know, he'll finish in the top five in MVP voting, I would imagine, but probably not going to win it. So now with that out of the way, kick those stats out of the way. Let's get to number four. I got my man out of Buffalo, Josh Allen, quarterback. Uh, Vegas actually has Russell Wilson as their number four. Uh, when I say Vegas, I mean FanDuel. That's the app that I use. Uh, but they have Russell Wilson coming in plus 2,000. Uh, so he pretty much doesn't have a shot either. Uh, he would really, really need to go off. Pretty much throw like four touchdowns, no picks, 350 yards uh, every game from here on out. And... Mahomes and you know all these other guys that are ahead of him these three guys that are ahead of him would really kind of need to you know fall off the face of the earth but let's uh, let's let's see why I have Josh Allen uh, as my number four uh, I'm a big fan of him I actually after week one I watched you know his highlights he looked really good I, I put a small bet on him to potentially win the MVP um, you know he still has a shot but uh, I love it for me number four why let's bring up the stats so the Bills are 9-3, pretty good record. Uh, they're actually playing the Pittsburgh Steelers this week, so my 4-5 and five will go at it this week, Big Ben and Josh Allen. Uh, 3,400 yards just over, 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, I didn't realize how good his completion percentage is, but it's actually just under 70%, which is out of this world. And then he's got a 105 rating. Like I said, like I just said with Big Ben, you know, uh, 97 used to be really really top notch like top notch you had a great season you probably you know were top two for the mvp but now there's just so many guys the way the passing rules are but josh allen's killing it a 105.9 rating just under 106 is fantastic he's having a great year uh i like watching him play i'm excited for him i think he's definitely a guy that could potentially win uh an mvp in his career because i mean he's got all the tools and buffalo fans should be excited especially if he's completing passes at you know 70 percent like he is um so, that was my number four. Let's get on to my number three. I'm going with Russell Wilson uh, at number three. Vegas actually has Josh Allen, so they flipped my three and four. Uh, they have Josh Allen at plus 1,700, which means, you know, he still has, again, like Russell, he's got an outside shot at plus 1,700. In Vegas' eyes, especially they're playing the Steelers, so he comes out, he throws for 400, four touchdowns. It's going to open up some eyeballs, and I think that's why... Um, that's why his odds are a little better and why he jumped Russell along with the fact that the Seahawks just lost to the Giants which in great uh, Russell the big thing was let Russ cook early on well he's cooled down quite a bit uh, the, the back half of the year but still having a pretty good season let's flip around let's get the stats on the screen so the Seattle Seahawks after losing to the Giants last week are eight and four um, 
you know, it's a good record, but, you know, you can't be losing to the Giants. Granted, they might be a playoff team, but, you know, it was a weird game, 17-12, to 12, not great for anyone involved. Uh, but Russell, just under 3,500 yards passing, um, 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Again, a lot of those interceptions came in, like, a three-game stretch, so which kind of tanked his MVP, started the downward spiral. He's played 70% of his passes, which is crazy. Seven out of ten passes are completed. Pretty good. And he's got a 106 or a 107 rating, uh, which is out of this world. So uh, for me, Russell is still number three. Uh, if he has another bad performance and the Seahawks lose, he might not even be in my top five next week. You know what I mean? I'm at that point. I'm still hanging on to the first half of the season. That's why he's three. But, you know, he's close. He's close to getting the boot right out of the top five. So let's go on to number two. Number two, Aaron Rodgers. Still having a great year. Uh, me and Vegas actually agree here. Obviously, I mean, I think we all know it's a two-horse race. Uh, him and, obviously, the guy that's going to be number one that you probably know who it is, but I'm going to wait to reveal it after I talk about Aaron Rodgers. But Vegas has him at pl plus 450, um, which I think is still a little too low. I think him and, you know, the first guy are, are a little closer than that, but uh, it is what it is. He's playing out of his mind, um, playing at a level that, really hasn't been seen since maybe like 2011 when they were 15 and one it's really crazy having a great year so is Devonte adams but let's pull up the stats here so packers are nine and three fighting for that number one seed in the nfc uh rogers just under 3400 yards uh, outstanding like i just a crazy touchdown to interception ratio i said it last week but got even better after last week's game so now it's 30 36 touchdowns four interceptions it's just mind-boggling uh, he's completing just under 69% of his passes, and he's got a rating of 118 and a half. And that's insane. Crazy. It's just a crazy rating. Uh, perfect rating is 158.3. So 13 games in or 12 games in, his rating is less than 40 points under perfect, which is just wild. Um, he's on fire. Obviously, it's, I, I still think it's a toss-up in the MVP race. Right now, I, I don't think... I think Vegas has their odds a little off. Um, he, only, he didn't gain that much ground after last week's performance, and he definitely had a better performance than number one, which is... It's Patrick Mahomes. Of course it's Patrick Mahomes. The guy's incredible. Uh, having a hell of a year. So, Vegas has him actually as a minus 500 favorite, which... It's still, it's like pretty big. I mean, this gap is, is bigger than I would think um, because their stats are, are pretty similar. And I'm thinking it might be the, the big reason why that's as far off as it is, uh, is potentially because of the record. I mean, the Chiefs are the best team in, in the AFC and probably in the NFL. They are 11 and one, as opposed to the Packers nine and three. And you just think about it. Okay, the, the, the Raiders got them earlier in the season, but you look at the Chiefs and you're like, oh, man, how? the first thing you say is, how are you going to stop Patrick Mahomes? It's not how are you going to stop Tyreek Hill. Like, those things are obviously right behind, but it's how are you going to stop Patrick Mahomes? So I think that's a big thing. I think people are already looking at them, Vegas, uh, and people that are betting, like, okay, they're going to win a Super Bowl and they're going to get hot and, you know, Patrick Mahomes is, is going to lead the charge there, so um, he's probably going to win the MVP. Again, you look at the stats here, pull them up on the screen. 3,800 yards, so he is smoking Rodgers in terms of yardage. Uh, Mahomes, again, a couple weeks ago, he had 360 yards in the first half against the Bucks, which is wild. But 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, two picks. So Rodgers had a better game than him last week. Um, widened the gap. Kept the gap in the interceptions the same, too. Uh, Rodgers has twice as many as Patrick Mahomes, and Rodgers only has four, which is wild. But... Um, Rodgers has six more touchdowns. Mahomes only has 30. We have completion percentage. Mahomes, just over 68%, but Rodgers is still a little better. And then you have the rating, 114 for Mahomes, which is four points under what Rodgers is, is currently. So again, and maybe, I don't know, maybe this isn't as big of a gap as I'm making it seem, but with three weeks left, I mean, yeah, actually, it, it could swing pretty quick. I mean, Rodgers comes out this week, they're playing the Lions, if he goes off, he could definitely easily jump ahead of Mahomes. Um, 
But, I mean, it, it, it's, it's these two guys. I mean, again, just keeping with the theme, it's a top five, and I want to keep doing the top five, but, I mean, it's just these two guys. So it's going to be these two guys for the rest of the year, one, two. That's, that's a spoiler. It's going to be these two guys. It's just what order. What order? Can Rodgers get ahead of Mahomes? Is Mahomes just going to pull away with it? Is Rodgers going to fall off? I don't know what it is. I'm excited to see it. And you'd be lying to yourself if you said you don't want to see those two teams. You don't want to see the Packers and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. The two guys that were battling it out for MVP for most of the year, dueling it out in the Super Bowl for a Lombardi. Which guy gets their second? It would be epic. But that is the MVP race. Hope you enjoy the games today. And I will be back next week to tell you which one of these two I think is in the lead and, you know, who the rest of these guys are. Like, it matters because none of these guys have a chance to win the MVP at this point. I'll see ya.